Hi, ladies, it's Angela here. I want to talk to you today about a topic that I know is of top of mind for many women as they get into their 40s and beyond. And that is the weight gain that's often around this kind of side area, the belly fat sometimes comes around into the back. A lot of women call it that spare tire. Very, very common for women as they start to get into their 40s and beyond. And so many women say, I'm not doing anything different. I'm doing the same things I've always done with diet and lifestyle. I'm sleeping the same amount. My stress levels, they may be a little bit high, but they have been for a while. It's not like anything's changed that way. So why am I gaining weight? What is going on here? And the simple answer to that is your hormone levels are changing and they're not necessarily shifting and lowering at an even rate. And this hormone imbalance that happens for every female as the hormones lower is part of what can contribute to the weight gain. So what happens as our female sex hormones lower estrogen and progesterone is progesterone lowers more quickly than estrogen. So it leaves us with what we call an estrogen dominant situation. So every female is going to experience this to a certain degree as the hormone levels lower on the way towards and into that shift into menopause. But some women notice this more extremely and they notice more weight gain and it's happening more rapidly. And very commonly, this is because not only is the progesterone level lowering more quickly than estrogen, it's lowering significantly more. Many women have absolutely catastrophically low progesterone levels when I check them on labs, even in their early 40s, they have a progesterone level that's almost in the menopausal range and that estrogen is still up. So it creates an extremely estrogen dominant situation. So we need to be thinking why this could be happening. What is the most common reasons when progesterone is low like this is often what is happening is women are under a lot of stress. They are under chronic stress, often chronically high stress. They're busy all the time. They have no downtime. Women are often not sleeping properly. They're sleeping four or five hours a night instead of the uh, ideal, which is seven, eight, possibly even nine. When we have this happening, it actually impacts our adrenal system quite a bit. And the adrenals, when they're not balance will actually pull some of the progesterone that we produce to support the adrenal function. So stress and lack of sleep are two of the main reasons why we can have adrenal dysfunction that lowers our progesterone too quickly. And one of the end results here, because we can become more estrogen dominant is we have more weight gain. So if you're noticing weight gain around that midline, but even down into the hips in particular, hips, groin, thighs, this is often related to estrogen dominance. If you are having it also around the belly, it could be related to this too, but it's often also related to blood sugar imbalances. Only way for us to get to the root of understanding this is to do the proper lab testing. So we need to check your hormone levels. We need to check your thyroid levels. We need to check insulin levels. We need to check all of your blood sugar markers. And from there, we can start to understand what is your root cause of your weight gain as those hormones shift and change. So we all have lowering sex hormones as we move into our 40s and beyond as females. We're not going to necessarily change that unless you start tampering with the hormones by bringing in things like hormone replacement placement therapy. And for some women, this may be warranted and needed, and they do find it helpful. For some women, they don't notice any differences as far as improvements to how they feel or improvements to their weight. Some women actually do report that they gain weight when they bring in extra hormones. And this can happen, especially if you don't understand the balance between your hormones. So it's very important first to get the lab testing done to understand why we could have hormones out of balance. We need to understand what could we do to get the balance back? Is it as simple as stressing less and sleeping more? It could be. Sometimes this is a easier said than done kind of thing, though. It is sometimes necessary. You may need to unplug a little bit more. You may need to go for that walk in the park versus working through lunch and eating your sandwich over your desk. You may need to start taking care of yourself more. So this can play a massive role in improving your metabolic health and your weight and your weight gain as you get into your 40s and beyond. Those are some simple quick tips. But to really dive into this and get to a root cause for you from an individual level, we need to make sure we do the right lab testing. So if you are interested in potentially looking into this, if you are looking to understand if you might be a good candidate to work with a functional medicine practitioner, someone who is working in the area of women's health, a healthcare professional such as myself, who has been in this area for over 20 years, you definitely may want to reach out to me and I would look forward to connecting with you. If you do want to do this, you do want to start to get to the root cause of why you have that weight gain, why you've tried solutions that haven't worked or if they've worked, they've worked short term. You may or may not want to use HRT or you may have already tried it and may not have been that helpful for you. I've definitely worked with women with all of these concerns and all of these things that they've tried. And I have been able to help women come up with long-term solutions for losing anywhere from 20 to 30 up to 40 pounds. So it is possible. And I want to let you know that if you want to learn how it could be possible for you as an individual, you can reach out to me anytime. I do have a link that you can connect with on my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca. And there is an area there to book a, either a contact with me where we can email to see if you may be a good 
perfect candidate for us to connect, or you can go ahead and book that initial complimentary consult on my website. And that's a free consult, again, just for us to get to know each other a little bit and see if it may be a good fit for us to work together to help you balance your hormones and optimize your metabolic health and your weight in this time of life. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more information on this topic and many more on hormone balancing for females as they get into their 40s and beyond. Thanks, and bye for now. Thank you.